Today, Augusta Commissioner Sean Frantum is expected to introduce a new panhandling ordinance at the committee meeting. Frantum hopes to mirror Columbia County's current ordinance. This comes just one month after the Richmond County Sheriff's Office launched a homeless crackdown on the Washington Road I-20 corridor. Our Will Volk joins us live now in the studio. And Will, how has this initiative gone so far for businesses? Nick, we talked to a few different businesses on Washington Road and got a wide range of opinions on how they think this plan has worked so far. We followed up with the owner of Two Boys Pizza and Grill, who we talked to about a month ago. They wouldn't go on camera, but they did tell us they'll be moving their business off Washington Road around the new year before this issue closes them permanently. The owner of Ballroom in Motion says the new program is a blessing compared to what it was like before, with problems no longer spilling into their parking lot. And overall, the owner of Cafe Dolce thinks the program is an improvement. I can't say it's gotten worse. It definitely has seen improvement. Um, we have had a few incidents since our last talk, but other than that, it definitely seems to have slowed down a lot. Now, two open records requests reveal the sheriff's office has not collected any data yet on this program. And again, city leaders will be discussing a new panhandling ordinance in committee meetings later today. OK, so we'll have to keep an eye on that. Will, how can people get help if they need it? Yeah, you can go to the Salvation Army Center of Hope or you can reach out to Augusta 311. OK, Will Volk live there in the studio. Thanks for the update.